Hi guys! I'm back with another video and today I thought I would show you four really easy hairstyles for like my type of length. I have like medium short hair. Um, so let's get started! First you're gonna need are some hair products of course and I really stand by a good dry shampoo. This is from um, uh, Lövengrip, which is a Swedish brand, uh, but you can get it in on Amazon, I think, actually, and Beauty Bay if you're in the UK. Really, really recommend. Great hold, good texture. It's easy both for like having your hair down and also doing like a little bit of an updo. So first thing is definitely investing in like a good dry shampoo because that is going to save you on like the bad hair days. Just saying. Then you're going to need a hairbrush, which is not clean, but <laughs> it's just my hair. A hairbrush and a um, small tooth comb with the, the really skinny side. Uh, so you can do your part and like tease a little bit if you need that because my hair is flat, flat, flat. So I could use uh, to do a little bit of a tease. Uh, but I also recommend this kind of like, this is a cheaper version of the, um, what's it called, Tangle Teaser. Uh, but I like this one better because it actually has a handle. Because the Tangle Teaser I just throw all, throw all over the place because I can't hold it properly. So a brush and a tooth. A tooth comb? No. A comb. And then because I'm going to do four different hairstyles, I'm also going to use one with this little like Baker Boy cap uh, from Ivy Rebel. It's like a little bit of like a velvet top with some gold uh, accent buttons and a braided, um, a little braid and uh, a leather cap. And I'm also going to be using black about bobby pins and this is optional what color you want to use because I'm blonde this is like what stands out the most but if you have dark hair you can definitely use like silver or gold or like whatever you prefer and then I'm also going to do a little thing with a smaller type of hair clip um, I don't have that thick hair so I can't use like the really really big ones but it's uh, it's a great thing to have when you just want to like throw up your hair and look like a little bit more chic than just having your hair down on like the third or like even fourth day of not washing your hair. And then you're going to need a good elastic. This is from Blux, which I don't know if it's like just a Swedish brand uh, or if you can get them, but just get like a little bit of like a thicker elastic that's going to hold your hair when you do like a messy bun. Um, so yeah. And also, I do have my mirror like right here so I can see what I'm doing. So if I look down to the side a little bit, it's just so I can see what I'm actually doing. But let's get started! I'm gonna first brush my hair through. Um, I'm on second day hair today because I washed it yesterday and I did a side part. I usually have a middle part, but lately I've been liking to do like a little bit of a side part, just like switch it up a little bit. and. I'm going to start with my dry shampoo. Shake it really well. Because the metal ball is in this to um, shake up the formula so you don't just get like that first layer. You need to shake it up to get like the really good formula. So shake it up. I always section off. I do like a little bit of like a claw with four of my fingers and section off my hair so I have natural sections to put the hair, hair product in. In this case, dry shampoo. This smells amazing. This smells like caramel. I love it. And you don't need that much because like I said, this has great hold. And then I just got a little bit in my mouth, but I just like shake it up. Just like really get it in there. And then I go back to my brush. And um, it's going to get a little bit static because whenever the weather changes and it gets cold here, my hair gets incredibly static. And sorry if I'm also looking into the monitor, but I'm still new to this. <laughs> so, like I said, I started with um, 
spraying some volume on this side because this is the side I have less hair in now since I have a side part. So I just sprayed that a little bit and I'm going to do the same on the other side. Shake it up. Hold it up. And I don't do that many sprays. I just want it to have a little bit of grit and texture. And I use like the claws here as well. Four fingers running it through just to spread out the product. And then do a quick little run through with the brush. And now I look like a slicker cat, like you see in Swedish. Look it up. Uh, but now that we have a little bit of volume and some grit to our our base, I'm actually going to start showing you what I like to do with the little clip. And like I said, use a clip that is uh, good for your amount of hair. I have really typical Scandinavian hair, very flat, very silky, so I can't use a bigger clip because it just it's going to ride right out of my hair. Um, so I use this side, um, this size, because uh, I'm not going to do my entire hair, I'm just going to do a half up. Okay, so I'll shake my hair back section off my hair, I take my thumbs, section it off like right below my ear and take it up. And this is also a really good hairstyle if you have a middle part, it works either way. Just brush it a little bit and then I just run my fingers through just to get like a little bit of a messy look. As you can see here. And if you get any like of these bubbles that pop up, just run your fingers through them and they will... Like a little bubble is fine because you want it to look like effortlessly messy. But if there's something that you're not happy with, just run your fingers through. Then I like pinch my hair like this, if you guys can see. Take the little clip and I clip it from one side to the other to like make sure I get all the hair. I'm just gonna take it so that I can see what I'm doing and it looks good. I'm just gonna, let's see, straighten myself out, pull at it a little bit so it looks, yeah like I said, effortlessly messy and let's see. I just pull out a little bit of hair like around my face to make it a little bit softer. And there you go. Super easy, just like half up, half down, but you're still keeping, since I didn't put this uh, up, like I have it still in the back, gives you a lot of volume, still has like the length and the, the width of your hair in the back. Um, so it just looks like this. Super easy, super simple to do if you're like me on second day hair when you still want to keep your hair down because you still want like the nice flow around your face. Um, but I do tend to get quite oily hair like underneath. Um, so I can usually just go with my hair down maybe first and second day, then I have to resort to dry shampoo and maybe do like an updo. But this is my typical second day hair look. And then I'm gonna take it down really quick. Second hairstyle involving our bobby pins. And uh, I usually do three on each side, I'm gonna show you. I just took off six little bobby pins, put it on a little desk right here. And then I start by taking this piece Pinching it a little bit with my uh, fingers and then running through the bobby pin right behind my ear. And then I take the next one and I do the exact same thing, making them pull up like that, like quite 
close to each, each other. And then I do a third one right next to it. And like, it doesn't really matter how far apart you put them or like how close you put them, like it's personal preference. And then I definitely do the other side, take it out, pinch it back. And this is also preference. Some people prefer to have it more close to like their face, um, like from your part and down. But since I have not the best volume, I can't really do that. I don't feel like my, my facial structure can take that. So I'll do it behind like this. You can see it like that. And the third one. You can also make them overlap if you want like that edgy look, but I usually like from day to day just um, try and keep it simple. Then for the remaining hair, I'll just brush it through really quickly. It says when I brush with the same brush that I've used for uh, the hair that already has the dry shampoo in it, this has a little grit to it and it's perfect for the lengths of your hair as well. I'm just gonna pull a little bit at this hair so it's not too tight. So it's not too tight. Gather it in the back. Do one loop. And I do two loops, and then I just stop halfway, tug on it a little bit, and you have this like half in, half out kind of messy bun without like having to do like a bun, uh, which I like because this is like quite structured and easy um, and chic. So there you have it. This is the second look. Super easy if you want to have like the little bobby pins as accessories. And like I said, I use dark, darker ones because my hair is so light. And now we're on to the last hairstyle. So I'm going to take this bun out again. It says this is the wider elastic. This actually holds, holds for multiple uses, which I like. Otherwise, it can be, they can be quite disposable, but... I don't like that. I like them to hold more than one time. And why I use the, the plastic, elast <laughs> plastic elastic instead of just like a regular, um, a regular fabric one uh, is because I actually like this texture a lot more. So it's, like I said, I have very silky hair. Everything just glides right out. I need something with a little bit of hold. I'm going to put it up in a low low bun right at the nape of my neck same way as I did before pulling it halfway through there loosening it around the face maybe like a little strand closer to the face like, we all have the baby hairs, why not just use them? And now I look quite flat and without volume, but I'm gonna put on my Baker Boy hat. So I just pull out a little bit of frame, frame? I just pull out a few pieces to frame my face. And then, my little Baker Boy hat. I can really recommend this, this is a beautiful, quite structured, so this sits well on your face, doesn't really droop down, and uh, it's very comfortable. I have it in medium large. It's called the Coquette Cap Black. Recommend, recommend. And then I just put it on, adjust it, and there you have it. Really easy for, for, <laughs> 
really easy hairstyles to do when you're either in a hurry or just want to like spice up your look from just having your hair down and uh, this is a perfect way to just like mix it up a little bit and I can't stress enough what it's, it's such a good accessory to have this kind of cap uh, I have actually just right behind this one two three four I have four caps which is crazy but I love it uh, it's perfect for your bad hair days or like I said when you just want to like spice it up a little bit so I hope you like this video and that you're gonna be back for the next one Love you guys. Bye.